Hello everyone, it's Casey, the Vintage Southern Lady, and today we are going to talk about milk glass. And we're going to look at some milk glass pieces that I have. Um, most of these milk glass pieces came from my grandmother. Um, I think I've only purchased maybe two of them, and um, there's a lot of misunderstandings and misconceptions about milk glass um, that milk glass is in pieces like Corel and it's just not and um, some people would argue even collectors but that's not what we're here to do all I want to do is share my um, little milk glass collection that I have. It's not big by any means, but it's just nice to, um, it's really nice to have something that belonged to your grandmother. My grandmother is no longer with us. She's gone on to heaven. She passed away, went on to heaven in 2014, October, and October 2014, and we're going to take a look at um, some of these pieces here and uh, see what you guys think. Um, I do believe in there's different qualities of milk glass from the weight of it to its color and we'll look at some of that during this video. Alright, first of all I will start off with the um, Goodwill the pieces I picked up from the Goodwill, the Goodwill milk glass. And we'll start this piece right here. Goodwill milk glass. That's what it looks like from the bottom. This almost is like a diamond, diamond shaped pattern. It's not a quilted diamond, it's just a diamond pattern. And it's not the cleanest. Um, it's been kind of stored away, so it's a little dusty. But um, there's no markings on this one. I'm not really sure who made who made this one. If you guys know, you can always leave a comment and let me know. It's a cool piece. It's it's it's, it's heavy. Um, it's not the widest color milk glass. I'll show you in a minute what I'm talking about. Okay, the next piece, milk glass. This one is from the Goodwill as well. This one is actually pretty cool. This one I believe is called Old Colony. I believe that's the name of it. Just noticing that blue color it has to. Do you guys see that? certain way I hold it. It's got this grayish blue color showing up. Okay, and we got of course no mark no marking on the bottom. We just do have a number, number 23. Assuming that's just a mold number. But these do come in a couple, a couple of different sizes. Um, this one, it's an okay condition. There's a couple of places. Um, let's see if I can find it. A couple of 
in places like this right here. It's not, it's like a hairline. It's not a crack all the way through, but it does have like a hairline here and there. It's pretty old colony. I think that's the name of the um, pattern, the old colony milk glass little compote. It's really neat. I like this design. This I paid probably a dollar or fifty cents for at the Goodwill. Same for the other one. Got them both on half off day. So let's take a look. Same goes for this one. Now this one is pretty cool. I like the lines on this one. I like its shape. This is Goodwill. What I've got from Goodwill Milk Glass. Does have, um, now there's more of these. This one is, of course, in the shape of a pear. And I think there, it comes, I think there's one in the shape of an apple. I don't know, I can't remember. There's a couple more that are shaped like this. It's got grapes on the top, pear, apple, and it looks like cherries down here on the bottom. But what's cool is look at the flowers on the back embossed in it. It almost looks like dogwood petals, which I think is really cool. This is a very, this one I may put on eBay for sale, not 100% for sure. The Old Colony, this one, maybe, and this one, maybe. There's one of these for sale on there. It's been for sale forever and it still hasn't sold. That's the thing about milk glass. If you have some really cool, design, like really sought after good pieces, they're going to sell. And they're going to sell for pretty good money. Um, now is the best time to buy milk glass. If you like it, your collector get on eBay and buy it. It's the best time. Okay, now moving on to my grandmother's pieces. Um, let's take a look. And I'm going to start with this one. This one's huge. Of course, it's a little different. Are we seeing the difference in color, you guys? More of a grayish blue tone to this one. And this one's more white. Got a pretty cool design on it. And nowhere that I've seen any kind of marking. I'm not seeing any markings at all on it. Okay, let's see what piece you want to, should we look at next? Hmm. I guess this one. I actually meant to research this one because it does have a mark on it, just have some stuff on it. I meant to research this one before we started. And I didn't. So I will probably do that at the end of the video and come back with an update. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't more prepared. This one's different. I've never seen this, this style before. It's really cool. Down here around the bottom. Now this one I hold it up to this light in here it does have that kind of 
yellowish orange, what they call ring of fire. Some people say that's not always 100% true, that not all milk glass has that. Okay, so the bottom says the letters E, O, Brody, Company, and the letter M, 2000, Cleveland, Cleveland O, USA, number two. All right, I will do some research on this piece, and um, I will have an update. All right, let's see. Kind of want to save those for last. All right, we're going to go with this one. This one is a little bit dirty. But this one's rather big. It's the bubble pattern. Well, all these belong to my grandmother. It's really cool. That, that's what I like. How you can see those bubbles when some light shines through it. That's pretty cool. And no marking on the bottom. This one's pretty big. I like it. That one has the ring of fire for sure. It's very, very, very vivid. You can see it good. The ring of fire. Now, this next one is so cute. This one is a little cup. Now this design, I believe this design, um, I have um, early American pattern glass piece that is a McKee press cut from the early, maybe 1905 or 1910 that has a very similar pattern to this. I can't remember what, it, what the pattern is right at the moment. If it's Toltec, no it's not Hobstar. Um, it's for sale on eBay and I can't even think of what it is. Um, I want to say Toltec, T-O-L-T-E-C. And it's very, very similar to this design here. Very similar. And this is just so cool. It's really cool to have this belong to my grandmother. How often do you see these little milk glass cups like this? I haven't come across them much. I haven't. Let's take a look. Mm. That one may have a little bit, tiny a bit, which you might could call a ring of fire. Now the next one is my favorite. It's very, very awesome. Ta-da! This is, of course, a piece to a lamp, a hurricane lamp. Now this is a diamond, a quilted diamond shape, and it is so white, it is so pretty, it is just gorgeous. It is a little dusty, a little dirty. Yeah, it is just so pretty. Let's just do it up close so you can, you guys see that quilted diamond pattern? Now, um, these can go for a lot of money. They have them, of course, in bigger, bigger sizes. This quilted diamond is very much sought after. Um, this is very white. Let's take a look here. 
And you see how much wider Goodwill, my grandmother's. I like to compare the different, how white this is. Um, I have a, um, I have a, what's it called, a stretch swung vase, it's milk glass, that is white like this too. I might get it down to show you guys. But it is just so pretty. It's so pretty, and I would love to to have the actual like little hurricane lamp to go that this would go with. I'm gonna have to try and find one. That one's kind of hard to look for the ring of fire because the way it's made. But around, around this edge here, looking through, I can see it. It's got that same kind of color to it. Okay, um, I am going to get that. Uh, swung the vase down so you guys can see it. Hold on one moment. Okay. And this is it, guys. It's got the hobnail stretch, swung vase, and milk glass. This is really cool. I actually bought this on eBay and I think it was big yeah it was a it was an auction I want to say I paid twelve dollars for it it wasn't much the shipping and I do remember the buyer I got this one from and it was um it was called hot Heinz Fines, like H-I-N-D-S, Fines, and uh, just super, super cool. I was wanting, um, I'm going to find a blue one. I'm hoping to find one by Ellie Smith that I can sit with this one, but just detail. It's beautiful, beautifully white. No mark on the bottom. None whatsoever. Let's take a look at this one. This one's dirty in the bottom. So it's kind of hard to tell. When I bought it, it had that dirt, so I just haven't, I haven't got it out there yet. I hope you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. I'm assuming someone used it for flowers, maybe. They actually used it as a vase. Vase, ever how you guys pronounce it. We say vase in my area. In my neck of the woods. But... Alright, the reason I got this down was to show you guys the extreme white. Look how white they are. Just really, really beautiful, gorgeous pieces. These are the whitest colors of milk glass. And then we got this. Different colors. And even my little cup here is extremely white. Maybe it's not as white as these two. 
by a tiny amount. Okay, now there, I'm not an expert. I'm not an expert in anything. I know, um, I'll say it this way, I know several things about many things, but I'm not an expert in anything. So if you guys know who made this, comment and let me know. And if you guys know, I've looked on eBay and I've not found, um, the uh, rest of this lamp I would love to have the rest of it because this was my grandmother's and we never found the, the rest of it and um, I would like to have it you know just you know as a sentimental thing I'd like to have the whole thing you know a little hurricane lamp but okay I think that's going to be it for this video Guys, most of this stuff is not going to be for sale on eBay. Um, if you want me to, I can really quickly show you two, maybe two little things that would be for sale. This cute little, adorable little pig planner. It's actually got like a little bit of pink around it. I don't know how old it is. It's a Taiwan piece. So, but look at those eyes. Those cute little hand painted on eyelashes, nose, and that little bit of pink polka dot underneath. It's very dirty, very dirty, but um, just a cute little planner. Cute little pig planner. Now the other one, I'm not so sure if I'm going to sell it or not. Um, it was my grandmother's. It's just a little bear. It's a cute little bear. With his little feet. It's a cute little bear. I don't know. It says something on the bottom. I can't quite make it out. You guys try to figure that one out. Okay, maybe that might be for sale on my eBay. And I have to link my eBay to these videos. I keep forgetting to do that. I have tons of stuff to get listed and these are my favorites this milk glass but the others are pretty too and um oh yeah i have to to research this piece and let you guys know so hold that thought okay guys so this piece here it says that um, the EO Brody Company was founded in 1958, Cleveland, Ohio, and it made a lot of flora, florist pieces, floor, you know, for the floral arrangements. Um, when someone would buy flowers, they would, you know, mostly make the glass for it. But um, I think it was. Um, 1971 maybe it said that it was bought taken over by Lancaster Colony Corporation and they did similar things like with the florist pieces and then in 2007 it was um, bought Indiana Glass and this uh, Lancaster Colony, they were both bought 
and they were merged in with Anchor Hawking. So that's a little history on this piece. I'm not sure what year this dates to. I'd have to do some more research and I was just, I hadn't um, even seen this before so that's kind of cool that I saw the, um, of course, you know, I've not had this forever, this piece right here. My mom gave it to me. That was my grandmother's recently. So, um, it's interesting to to know the to find out about the pieces you own. It's always um I love things that are marked. I love things that are dated. Um to me it just it has more value to me because um as as resellers and as people who collect vintage items, we want to save these pieces. We want to save pieces of history. It's um, it's important to me, and um, there's a lot of important things in this world for us to do. Um, and this is one of them. Not the most important, but definitely saving things like this. You can't go out in the store and buy this kind of stuff these days. They don't make it well made like this. This thing is heavy. They don't make things like this anymore. This thing is heavy. All of this milk glass just don't make it like this anymore. And it's important. It's important that we that we collect it and we keep it and we save it from being trash and that's one of the, the coolest things is saving these vintage items and um giving them a new home you know um we we can't keep it all ourselves you know so that that's the, the beauty of all of it we're saving these pieces and somebody who's going to love it and going to appreciate it will buys it from you and it has a new home that that's that's really cool. That's why I like vintage so much because there's so much that over time has just ended up in the landfill and it's not good for the earth for one, but two, um, who knows what kind of shape it was in. You know, a lot of people just throw things out, you know, and, um, which, you know, it's theirs to do with what they want to, but um, my generation and the generation below me, and a lot of older generations, it's not just the younger people. The younger people, my generation, are starting to appreciate vintage, but there have been collectors and people who love vintage items and antiques for years, many, many years. And, um, you know, it used to be the Victorian era, and uh, everyone loved that that stuff. Now it seems, you know, the mid-century, modern, atomic 50s, and that, that stuff's popular. Even some 70s stuff, you know, is being popular. But I just, I thank all of you who do this, who um, save these pieces from being broken or destroyed and reuse, repurpose. It's something that, that we should be doing. And uh, we have way too much trash as it is. And um, when you can find quality made things like this, it's just really, it's awesome. And I'll tell you why. My generation, we grew up in the plastic industry. We grew up with Tupperware. I'm not down on Tupperware, but everything that... You know, we grew up around, there were hardly no glass. It was all plastic. And honestly, I believe with all my heart, my generation is so sick of plastic. That's why I believe glass is making a huge comeback. And that's one of the reasons why. Because everything was plastic. Everything. 
and yes, I know plastic is good and everything, but we didn't have the, when we were growing up, you know, if you grew up in the 80s and the 90s, or especially even after that, it's even more plastic. So when we, you know, see all this beautiful glass, we're just amazed by it, amazed. And um, I didn't mean to get on this rant. I just wanted to thank all of you guys who are collectors, um, who are out there um, picking and finding these items and giving them a new home. And I want to thank everyone who shops on eBay or whatever platform you shop on that has these vintage items. Thank you. Thank you for um, seeing value in this stuff and um, realizing, you know, we're not going to get this kind of quality nowadays. We, we have a lot of junk made in China, stuff that just falls apart and doesn't last. Now, I have no idea how old this is. I'm assuming very old. I'm assuming this is probably at least 50 years old, maybe older. And look at it. It's not broken. There's no cracks. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just crazy how so this stuff was so well made and it still it still lasts. I have no idea. I think these were popular in the 50s. This is mid-century modern style stuff. Um, this is we're in we're in 2020, 2020, folks, and this stuff is still around. So that's why. I mean, you can't you can't beat it. You know, you just can't. The stuff that we buy in stores, we're paying. $40 for plastic junk that's going to break and going to fall apart and we'd have to buy it again in just six months maybe six months or if it lasts a year a year so I'm, I don't know about you guys but I'm sure you are too that's why you're watching this video you have a you know, you have a love for this stuff and uh, appreciation for it. You're a collector, you're a picker, and you want to save these things. And I feel the same way. But I would much rather get on eBay and find something that's going to last, something that's durable and will hold up, than go pay. And, and the price on eBay is nowhere near how much it costs in a store. So, um, you know, I'm very grateful for eBay and for pickers. Thank you to all the resellers out there. Sometimes, you know, people have their opinions about resellers. To me, they're doing a great, a great thing, finding all these vintage things and giving them a new home. I mean, this stuff will end up just wasted in a landfill. Now people are getting to use it. Like I said, I would much rather pay, I don't know, this would probably sell for maybe $10 or less. I would rather pay that, this, and use it and know that it's going to last than use, than pay, uh, two dollars for a plastic cup that I can't use more than one time or a handful of times so but most plastics just look at the stuff that we store our stuff in the refrigerator I would love to find those little um, like the Pyrex lidded refrigerator dishes for leftovers and stuff I gotta find some of that stuff we pay tons of money for all those plastic things that we refrigerate our leftovers and they don't last hardly any time at all but okay that's my that's my rant my rants over sorry for the rant you guys but I just um, have a passion for vintage and um, I hope you guys do as well 
Let's reuse, repurpose, recycle. Save these beautiful pieces and give them a new home. And um, all right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Um, leave me a comment. If you know any of these makers in this milk class, um, share um, some of the, the cool pieces of milk class you have. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.